Digestive glands deliver secretions into the digestive canal. They are of two types. Intramural glands present in the wall of the gastrointestinal tract. These glands are present in esophagus, esophageal glands, stomach, gastric glands, intestine, intestinal crypts in the small and large intestine, pronas glands present in the duodenum. Extramural glands are associated glands present outside the alimentary tract and are connected to it by ducts. As salivary glands empty the contents into the oral cavity, pancreas connected to the duodenum and liver also connected to the duodenum. Associated glands are present outside the alimentary tract and are connected to it by ducts. Associated glands include salivary glands, which may be either accessory salivary glands present in the oral cavity, asclepial, buccal, lingual, palatine, and tonsillar, or major salivary glands, which are either serous glands as the parotid, or mixed mucoserous glands as the submandibular and sublingual glands. Other associated glands important in the digestive system are mixed in function, both exocrine and endocrine, as the pancreas and the liver. Associated glands are formed of connective tissue stroma and parenchyma. Stroma is made of capsule trapeculi dividing the gland into loops and lobules and reticular stroma. Parenchyma consists of ducts carrying secretion to different sides of the body and cells arranged in coals or acyanine for forming the different types of secretion. Parenchyma of the glands is made of ducts and acyanine. Ducts may be well developed in certain glands as salivary glands or not well developed as in the pancreas. Ducts are divided into Ducts within the lobules are called intralobular ducts and are formed of intercalated ducts, which are smallest ducts found inside the lobules and connected directly with the acyanol. They are lined by simple squamous or simple cubical epithelium in case of salivary glands. In case of the pancreas, these ducts are also lined by simple squamous epithelium or low cubical epithelium, but they are invaginated into the acyanai, forming the centroacyanose cells. Other ducts present inside the lobules are the striated or secretory ducts. They are lined with cubical cells with acidophilic basal striations due to deep enfoldings of the basal plasma membrane containing mitochondria, ribonucleic acid, and rough endoplasmic reticulum. These enfoldings increase the surface area and the mitochondria provides energy for active fluid and ion transport. In the pancreas, there are few secretory ducts. Interlobular ducts in salivary glands are found between the lobules and aligned with simple columnar epithelium. While in the pancreas, these interlobular ducts 
are lined with simple cubical epithelium and empty directly into the mean pancreatic duct. Interlooper ducts in salivary glands are found between the loops and are lined by pseudostratified columnar epithelium. These ducts, in case of the pancreas, are ill-distinct as there is ill-distinct lobulation. Mean duct of salivary gland is lined with stratified columnar followed by stratified squamous epithelium as it opens into the mouse cavity, which is lined with stratified squamous epithelium. In case of the pancreas, the mean duct is lined with columnar, goblet, and few argentafine cells. It opens together with the common bile duct at the duodenal papilla, ampulla of water, which is lined with simple columnar epithelium with goblet cells. Asainai. Asainai are either serous asainai, mucus asainai, or mucoserous asainai, which are mucus asainai capped by a crescent shaped groups of serous cells, serous demilion cells, or crescents of gyanosi cells. Comparison between Serous acyanai and mucus acyanai. Serous acyanai have a small diameter, while mucus acyanai have large diameter. Serous acyanai have narrow lumen, while mucus acyanai have a wider lumen. Serous acyanai are lined with pyramidal cells with indistinct cell boundaries having oval or rounded nuclei basally located, while mucus acyli are lined with cuboidal cells with distinct cell boundaries having basal flattened nuclei. Cytoplasm in serous acyli is basophilic and granular, contains extensive rough endoplasmic reticulum Golgi apparatus and mitochondria. Cytoplasm in mucus acyanae is evacuated due to dissolved myosin and contains rough endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, and mitochondria. Serous acyanae have few basket cells. Mucus acyanae have numerous basket cells. Basket cells are flat branched myoepithelial cells found around the salivary acyanai between the lining cells and their basement membrane. When they contract, they squeeze the salivary secretion into the collecting ducts. Mucoserous acyanai or mixed acyanai. These are mucus acyanae capped by a crescent-shaped group of serous cells, crescents of gyanosi or serous demilion cells. These serous cells deliver the secretion into the spaces between neighboring mucus-producing cells. Small channels Intercellular secretory canaliculi pass between the mucus and serous cells, deliver this secretion of the demilions directly to the lumen of the mucus acyanai. Characters of mean salivary glands parotid. It is a pair of exocrine compound tubuloalveolar serous gland. It is located below and in front of the external ear. It is made of stroma and parenchyma. Special characters of the parotid. Stroma, capsule and the trapeculi are thick, dense, fibrous, 
and rich in fat cells. Parenchyma. Ducts are well developed, open into the mouth cavity. Asinae are pure serous. In the parotid gland, we have to discuss the duct system and the asinae in detail. Ducts. Ducts within the lupule, intralopular ducts. These are intercalated ducts, are smallest ducts found inside the lupule and are connected directly with the asinae. They are lined by simple squamous or simple cubical epithelium. Then, striated or secretory ducts aligned with cubical cells with acidophilic basal striations. Interlobular ducts are found between the lobules and aligned with simple columnar epithelium. Interloper ducts, they are found between the loops and aligned by pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Then the main duct is lined with stratified columnar epithelium followed by stratified squamous as it opens into the mouse cavity, which is lined with stratified squamous epithelium. Asinae are pure serous, small in diameter, have narrow lumen, and lined with pyramidal cells with indistinct cell boundaries, having oval or rounded nuclei basally located. Characters of main salivary glands submandibular or submaxillar. It is a pair of exocrine compound tubuloalveolar mixed mucoserous glands. It is located inner to the mandible. It is made of stroma and parenchyma. Special characters of submandibular gland. Stroma. Capsule and the trapeculi are thick, dense, fibrous with some fat cells. Parenchyma. Ducts are the same as in parotid, with numerous intralopular ducts open into the floor of mouth cavity. Asinae are mainly serous, with few mucus and mixed asinae. Mucoceras asinae in men, but the asinae are purely mucus in dog. In the submandibular gland, we have to discuss the ducts and the asinae in detail. Ducts of the submandibular gland are the same as in the parotid. There are Ducts within the lobule, intralobular ducts. They are numerous. These are intercalated ducts, are smallest ducts found inside the lobule and are connected directly with the asinae. They are lined by simple squamous or simple cubical epithelium then striated or secretory ducts aligned with cubical cells with acidophilic basal striations. Interlobular ducts, they are found between the lobules and aligned with simple columnar epithelium. Then interloper ducts, they are found between the lobes and aligned by pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Then the main duct is lined with stratified columnar followed by stratified squamous epithelium as it opens into the mouth cavity. Asinae. 
are mainly cirrus, small in diameter with narrow lumen and aligned with pyramidal cells with indistinct cell boundaries, having oval or rounded nuclei basally located. There are few mucus acini, large diameter, wide lumen, aligned with cupoidal cells, with distinct boundaries, having basal flattened nuclei. There are also few mucocerous acini, or mixed acini. These are mucous acini kept by a crescent-shaped group of serous cells. Secretion of serous cells or demilune cells passes into intercellular secretory canaliculi between the mucous cells to reach the lumen of the acinus. Characters of mean salivary glands sublingual. It is a pair of exocrine compound tubular alveolar mixed mucocerous gland. It is located in the floor of the mouth cavity under the tongue. It is made of stroma and parenchyma. Special characters of sublingual gland. Stroma. Capsule and the trapeculi are thin with no fat cells. Parenchyma. Ducts the same as in the parotid with few intralopular ducts. Ducts open into the floor of mouth cavity. Acinai are mainly mucus and mixed that is mucocerous acini, with few pure serous acini. In sublingual glands, we have to discuss the ducts and acini in details. Ducts in sublingual glands are ducts within the lobule, intralobular ducts, they are few. These are intercalated ducts, are the smallest ducts found inside the lobule and connected directly with the acini. They are lined by simple squamous or simple cubical epithelium. Then striated or secretory ducts are lined with cubical cells with acidophilic basal striations. Interlobular ducts are found between lobules and aligned with simple columnar epithelium. Then, interloper ducts, they are found between the loops and aligned by pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Then finally, the main duct. It is lined with stratified columnar epithelium followed by stratified squamous epithelium as it opens into the mouse cavity. Acinai are mainly mucus, large diameter with wide lumen aligned with cupoidal cells with distinct boundaries, having basal flattened nuclei. There are also mucocerous acini or mixed acini. These are mucous acini kept by a crescent shaped groups of serous cells. Secretion of serous cells passes into intercellular secretory canaliculi between the mucous cells to reach the lumen of the acini. Pure serous acini are few. 
these asinai have small diameter narrow lumen and aligned with pyramidal cells with indistinct boundaries having oval or rounded nuclei basally located pancreas pancreas is an elongated organ that lies behind and below the stomach occupying the space of the concavity of the duodenum in man the pancreas can be divided into four regions these are the head the neck the body and the tail the tail contains the highest concentration of endocrine tissue that is eyelids of longer hands pancreas is a mixed gland having both exocrine and endocrine it is a serous compound tubular gland formed of stroma and parenchyma stroma of the pancreas is similar to other stroma formed of capsule of loose connective tissue which is very thin trapeculi or septa a loose and lobulation is indistinct as these trapeculi are very thin then finally reticular stroma formed of reticular cells and fibers this reticular stroma forms the background of the gland parenchyma of the pancreas pancreas has an exocrine and endocrine portions eyelids of longer hands exocrine portion pancreas is a compound tubular gland formed of ducts and acinae ducts these are intercalary ducts lined by simple squamous or low cubical cells these ducts are invaginated into the acinae forming the central acinose cells there is small number of intralobular or secretory ducts lined by simple cubical epithelium intralobular ducts are lined with simple cubical epithelium and empty directly into the main pancreatic duct then finally the main pancreatic duct is lined with columnar epithelium having goblet and few azintafin cells as it opens together with the common bile duct at the duodenal papillae as i know are pure serous small with narrow lumen and lined with pyramidal cells with indistinct cell boundaries having basal and rounded nuclei cells of the acinae show basophilic basal striations and apical acidophilic zymogen granules by em the cells show all features of protein synthesis that is abundant rough endoplasmic reticulum apical zymogen granules well developed golgi body numerous mitochondria and free rna control of pancreatic secretion vagal stimulation causes the release of pancreatic enzymes two hormones released by various types of amine precursor uptake and decarboxylation cells of the digestive tract control pancreatic secretion secretin hormone 
The presence of acids in the duodenum cause release of secretin by S cells in the duodenal and the proximal regional mucosa. Secretin stimulates the formation of bicarbonate rich fluid by the ductal system of the pancreas. Colocystokinin or pancreozymin hormone. It is produced by eye cells present in the duodenal and jejunal mucosa as a result of presence of fats in the duodenum. Colocystokinin stimulates a sinus cells to release digestive enzymes, trepsin, chemotrepsin, peptidase, pancreatic amylase, which breaks starch and glycogen to disaccharides and pancreatic lipase, which breaks neutral fats to fatty acids and glycerol. In the crying portion of the pancreas, islets of Langerhams, the are pale structures scattered between the darkly stained pancreatic acinoi. They consist of masses of cells having no surrounding capsule, but supported by delicate reticular fibers and separated by blood sinusoids. They are more numerous in the tail of the pancreas. The cells are indistinguishable in routinely stained histological sections but can be differentiated by the use of a special stains. Cells of islets of Langerhans, E or alpha cells, they are less numerous, about 20%. They are large cells and their cytoplasm contains acidophilic water-soluble granules. The cytoplasm contains also the characteristics of protein synthesizing cells, that is, rough endoplasmic reticulum, well-developed Golgi bodies, and membrane-bound secretory granules. They secrete glucagon, which increases blood sugar level. B or beta cells, they are more numerous, about 75%. They are small cells with the basophilic alcohol soluble granules. The cytoplasm also shows the characteristics of protein synthesizing cells, that is, rough endoplasmic reticulum, well developed Golgi bodies. The secretory granules are electron dense and enclosed within membranes. They secrete insulin, which lowers blood glucose level. C or clear cells. They are rare cells found mainly in guinea pigs. They contain few organelles and few secretory granules. Their function is unknown and may represent immature or degranulated islet cells. D or delta cells. They are about 4%. They contain membrane-bound secretory granules, large electron lucid. They secrete somatostatin, which inhibits the release of other hormones, and gastrin, which stimulates gastric secretion. F or BB or polypeptide cells their cytoplasm has few organelles and little membrane-bound secretory granules. They secrete pancreatic polypeptides, which may reduce pancreatic exocrine secretion. 
Ganglion cells, they are multipolar nerve cells that may control hormonal secretion of the islands. G cells, they release gastrin hormone which stimulates gastric secretion. Comparison between parotid and pancreas. For easy differentiation between any glands, we better consider the structure of the gland, structure of the stroma and parenchyma. Parotid, stroma. Parotid has thick connective tissue capsule, dense and rich in fat cells, thick trapeculi, dense, dividing the glands into distinct loops and lobules. Pancreas has a thin connective tissue capsule formed of loose connective tissue. Trapeculi are loose and lobulation is less distinct. Then parenchyma. Ducts. Prominent secretory ducts are present in the parotid. The main duct is lined with stratified squamous epithelium. Pancreas. Intercalary ducts are invaginated into the acyanae, forming centroacyanose cells. There is few secretory ducts. Main duct is lined with columnar epithelium containing goblet cells. Then, acyanae. Acyanae of the parotid are serous acyanae, deeply basophilic surrounded by few basket cells, myoepithelial cells. As I know of the pancreas show basal striations due to the presence of rough endoplasmic reticulum and apical acidophilic zymogen granules. No basket cells are seen. Then the function. Parotid is an exocrine gland while pancreas is both exocrine and endocrine, having islets of Langerhams which secrete hormones conducted directly into the bloodstream.